right, setting up your webinar. All right, looks like we are live now, Nelson. Thank you so much for joining us um, for this next edition of the M Multifamily Investor Nation Summit Speaker Intro Series. We have Nelson Zambrano. Nelson, welcome. Dan, thank you very much for having me here. Thank you. And, well, uh, and my to, initiation as well. <laughs> yeah. So for, for those of you who didn't see us on Instagram, we're live on Instagram at the same time. I uh, let everybody know that this is Nelson's first time on Facebook Live as well as Instagram Live or any of the platforms, really, right? Exactly. Any of the platforms, literally any of the platforms. So you don't have a Facebook account. You don't have an Instagram account. Nothing. For, for all intents and purposes, I'm practically off the grid, especially compared to someone like you. Yeah. Well, I want you to give us a little bit about your background because that might shed a little light onto why you haven't um, and then what you're going to be speaking on at the event coming up. Okay. Well, um, the first, time, first thing I want to say, Dennis, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to speak and literally get out of my shell. Um, <laughs> my, uh, my background is um, my life kind of begins before and after 9-11. Uh, I was recalled to active duty after the 9-11 attacks. I was supposed to be at the World Trade Center that day by a fluke of nature. I was not there. And I was recalled to active duty. My background is I'm a uh, special operations and mili military intelligence officer. So uh, needless to say, in that kind of work, you do not have a huge social media background or platform, so to speak. So, um, and it was highly discouraged for you to have one for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that, so that's the reason why. So that that's a part of my life, and which also continues to contribute as to um, as to the book and the reason that I'm here. I will be speaking at the conference. Um, that in turn led to after one deployment to getting a position with a Lloyd of London broker working in the area of kidnap and ransom insurance throughout the world. So obviously, if you're in the kidnap and ransom business, uh, you don't want those groups to know who you are as well. Hence the much decreased social media platform presence. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's been very hard to tag you in anything, and now I know why. <laughs> well, talk to us about this book, because I know this is going to be the topic that you're going to be speaking on at the event. So share with us a little bit about this book and the background of it and, and, and maybe why you wrote it um, to be able to get into this space. Yeah, so my, and it has to do with my background and how I came into it. I was born in the U.S., uh, but at the same time, I grew up overseas. And when you grow up overseas, you have a very different perspective on things, um, which is you really appreciate the United States 10 times as much. Why? Because you have a frame of reference to go to compare it against. Um, when I was recalled to active duty, I think I've done, what, eight deployments now? Uh, first Gulf War, second Gulf War, and all those other little ones in between. Um, that took me all over the world and in my private sector job as well. I work for a, a large fund company and I handled on the international funds. That took me, especially on the kidnap and ransom side, dealing with high net worth and ultra high net worth individuals. And in these conversations, these were very kind of knee to knee, eyeball to eyeball conversations. You had to get naked in front of Nelson, uh, no pun intended, uh, to get the coverage. Sure. So what I found out is that many people, even though they were incredibly wealthy, incredibly sophisticated, there were some things that were incredibly basic about the United States and how to invest in the United States that they were totally unaware of. And uh, in between deployments, I would buy property. I, I bought my first, uh, a triplex with a severance package, and then it was a fourplex, and then I did a deal with the city of Fort Lauderdale was an investor side by side with the deployments. Mm -hmm. um, the book came about because, I, well, I live in South Florida. I have most of my friends are foreign. It's no big deal for us here to, we almost have passports to go to other countries. And I remember going to visit a high net worth family in South America at their beautiful country club. And they said, Nelson, we bought about a dozen houses and these houses are driving us crazy. Uh, we want to sell these houses. We're going to invest in one of your apartment deals. And I said, great. And we're beautiful place. And I said, are you going to do a 1031 exchange? And they looked at me like something was growing out of my forehead. <laughs> and, I, and, and I could sense there was a change. And I said, well, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a tax deferred. And I explained. And to them, it was a gigantic scam. Somebody would have told them. They did nothing. Three months later, I went to visit them again. And they said, Nelson, no one ever told us about this. 
Hmm. No one ever told us we would have paid all this money in taxes. And I kept on saying to myself, somebody ought to write a book about this. There is no single place where a high net worth foreign investor, ultra high net worth foreign investor can go and pick up a book and say, hey, what are the characteristics of a good ground partner, of a good syndicator? Uh, what type of real estate attorney should I have? What type of attorney should I have? Uh, tell me about the laws in the United States. Tell me about title in the United States. Um, tell me what type of CPA. So that's what brought it about. I decided, and I did the research. I said, okay, there's got to be something there for these people. There are trade associations. There are huge lobbying firms. There are magazines. But there's no one single place where someone can pick up a book uh, at a duty-free shop. And that's probably where you're going to see my book in the future. Um, where they can say, hey, you know what? As I'm sitting here in first class or business class or even in my own private jet, I can leave through this and get my questions answered. So that's the, basically how the book came about out of all these conversations with people and some incredibly basic questions. Some of them didn't know that accounts in the United States were FDIC insured, which I was said, you're, you're, you're like practically a billionaire. You don't know this? No, I don't know, Nelson. Yeah. And they were very honest and transparent about it. So that's pretty much how the book came about. Well, it's, it's nice to kind of see how you wrote the book. And, and I, can, I can tell that even during your session, we're going to be able to dive into a lot more of the specifics. And why do you think it's important for people who are watching right now to register for an event like this? Um, I, I think most of us have seen that movie, The Matrix, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen yeah. that movie, The Matrix. And the incredible thing about The Matrix is um, the lead character or all the characters that could go to one spot and just literally get a download of information and be able to get themselves out of some incredible jam or predicament. I see this conference about as close as we can get to being in the matrix. Okay. You've I haven't got, actually heard of being put that way, but I could, that is a great correlation. Uh, you can, you can come here. You've got an incredible lineup of speakers. I will be here to get knowledge for myself as well on topics all across the board. I'm going to get a download of information, very concise, very detailed, very set to what exactly do I need? And I'm going to get it in a three day period. So this is, this is the closest you can get on the multifamily side to being in the matrix. Um, that's, really, guess, that's a great, that's a great way to look at it. And I think I'm going to steal that Nelson, now that you said that and start to, to give credit. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can the listeners get a, get a hundred dollars off by using a promo? Cause I know you have a promo code that you're sharing as well. Yes. My promo code is Nelson, N E L S O N Nelson. So to so be able to use that. Yes. Yep. Just go to mfinsummit.com. Click the link in this little box that you see here above or below this video and, uh, and go to mfinsummit.com. When you go to check out, you can see, you can see where the little place to put in your promo code. Just type that in Nelson, N E L S O N get a hundred dollars off. Thank you so much, Nelson, for joining us here today and sharing a little bit about you and your background and what you're going to be sharing at the event coming up next week. Dan, thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you and everyone else at the event. Thank you. Yep. You as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.